Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just quickly showing you how I set up or the settings of my um, Epson ET2803 for, that I converted for sublimation. Um, and this is going to be on a PC. So I'm going down to my little start guy and I personally have my printers and scanners saved to the right um, over here in this area. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. I have two printers. This is my regular one and this is my Epson. So I'm gonna click on it and then I'm gonna go down here to manage. Here you have printer properties and preferences we want to go to printing preferences, but if you do click on printer properties, you can actually click on preferences down here. So either way you will get there. So I will show you what it looks like if you just click on preferences and here's this little guy. So we're going to bring him over. Now I have mine set up already it I labeled it sublimation self altered settings <laughs> because I'm weird and that's how I set it up um, if you wanted to add one because you don't have one yet you would hit add and then you could name it I'm gonna name it test so if you're starting and you have not yet set up your printer settings for sublimation this is where you would do it and you would put your name here hit save and close. So what's going to show up when you um, first create your setting or your presets, I should say, it will, if I'm clicked on this one and I add or remove, it will default all of these over here to the new one. So if it was original, you know, and it was just regular, all of this would say paper type would probably be plain, um, etc. So for my sublimation, I have it set to document size eight and a half by 11. That's what I regularly have it set to. I can go up to legal eight and a half by 14, but I do that if I am printing on a larger size, I do that inside Word um, during the printing process. So this is what it will always default to. My orientation, I have it set to portrait. Paper type, um, normally it's at plain. I have it set to premium presentation paper mat. My quality I have is high. We want color. My two-sided printing is off because I don't want it to default to that. That would be weird. And then over here, um, your binding settings, but I have it off or I don't have it off, but I just have it normal. This is the default setting. Multi-page off. I have it to collate in reverse order. I believe that's the standard. I always do a print preview down here. Um, that's just my preference. If you don't want it to print preview, then you don't have to have that clicked. But I like to take one last look before I hit print. You're gonna click over here onto more options. You're gonna set it as eight and a half by 11, same as document size. You're gonna go down here to custom, advanced, and color controls. I have mine set to Adobe RGB. The gamma is 2.2. And this, you could click either one of these, but I prefer the slide bar. Now, as you can see here, my brightness is at a negative two. My contrast um, is at a one. And this is because my 
colors were pulling very weird when I first started and all my browns and stuff were turning yellow. So I went over and I watched a video and I can't remember whose it was. I'll link it down below or figure it out. Um, but these settings here helped my colors not change to something funky. I'm not a color wheel person, so I didn't know what to do. Um, after experimenting, you know, I would print and then I would sublimate onto a piece of fabric. And when I was noticing my colors being wonky, I started panicking. And after that panic, I decided to use good old YouTube and found a couple of videos that really did help. And ever since then, my settings and my printing has been what I think, you know, as perfect as perfection as it could be, if you will. Um, so if you're having issues with your colors not sublimating the way you think they should look, um, you could always come and try out this. And then I will click OK. And I don't mess with anything. I didn't mess with anything over there. Okay. Over here under additional settings, this is where I click mirror image so that when I go to print, everything is mirrored and I don't ever have to remember. Okay. And I'm going to go show you that right now. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to delete my test one because I don't want to accidentally leave it there because knowing me, I will use it on accident. Okay. So what I mean is Like here with this Happy Easter, this is one that I printed. And if I go up to there and then I go to print, this is my print over here. And it defaults to everything that I had put as my settings. Now, if I wanted to change something, you can go here to printer properties and it brings up this again. So if you want it to be landscape but you didn't want to do landscape inside word you could do it here and so on and so on so i'm gonna go ahead and hit cancel um all that jazz okay now here you can also change your margin settings you can do it inside when you're actually creating the microsoft word or you could do it here i always go through and click zero on all my margins And then okay and then it says oh we can't do to zero but we can do 0.12 and that's fine that's what i do just so you know um and then i will click print but here again it gives me my print preview and it's backwards because we mirrored it so you don't have to worry about like when you're inside word you don't have to worry about going to picture format flip. So you don't have to worry about doing this. So I find the setting for having it flipped during the printing process easiest for me. That way when I see my print preview um, or when I look at this page when I go to here, I see what it's going to look like and then when I press print, it'll show me it here. So that's just my own personal preference. Um, if you want it to not default, then just don't click that button in your um, printer settings, preferences. Yeah. So this is how I have mine set up. Um, I hope this was helpful if you were curious. And if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know down below. Again, I am not a color wheel expert. I will link the video that um, gave me what I needed to know. <laughs> it is 4.30 in the morning, so I cannot remember which video it was. But anywho, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye.